Welcome to Backyard Plinking. My name is Charles, and I'll be your host as we go through and explore everything BB and pellet related, air rifles, air pistols, targets, and today, ammo. I'm just going to do a quick little thing because of what happened today. I was in my favorite sporting goods store. <clears throat> there was a gentleman that was in there, had his young son with him. They were looking for some pellets, and the little kid spotted these on the shelf. He said, oh, Dad, these are cool. These are cool. Can we get these? And his dad was like, all right, whatever. So as he started walking away, I stopped him and I asked him, I said, do you actually know what those are? He said, what do you mean? They're actually 22 caliber. Yes, they do make 22 caliber air rifles and larger. This is made by Gamo. It's a, it's a hunting pellet. It's got a little projectile on the end of it to help with the aerodynamics. But I can assure you, it will not fit into any of the pellet rifles that you have seen me shoot around here that are .177 caliber. Read the directions. Read the box. Make sure you're buying the right stuff because nothing is more frustrating than buying something, bringing it home, and it doesn't fit. Just to show you the difference here, that's a .177 caliber. You know, that's just a, a flat rate or flat nose pellet. It's mass produced. But you can see the difference. But while we're on the subject, that is a mass produced. These right here are basically all mass produced pellets. You can see one has a point. One is the one on the far left is referred to as a hollow point. Now the skirts are a little bit shorter on the two on the left and the one on the right, but it's okay. They shoot fine. Um, most of those are, are relatively inexpensive. Uh, you can even get them in a, a little container that's got several different kinds in it. It was a 300 count. I think that was like $3. Or, I'll leave that little fella there. There are, you know, I've been telling you guys that there's some stuff that is out there. It's a little bit more uh -oh, high end. Like this little fella right here. Now that one is made by Gamo. And yes, it looks like it has a BB right on the end of it, which it does almost. It's a partial part of one that gives it some weight. Well, see how shiny and smooth the one on the right is compared to the one on the left. The one on the left is mass produced. The one on the right is not. Even inside of the skirt, you can tell the difference. Now, this particular container, uh, I think there was, uh, oh, I think there was maybe 200 in there. It was almost five bucks. But it's a lot, uh, you get a lot truer aim out of it. Uh, they, they travel a lot better, and, and you'll get to see me use some of those sometimes when, um, uh, some of the challenge shots that we got coming up to make for sure that we get to where we want to be. Um, now as far as the BBs and stuff goes, you can just get them in packages or in containers. They're basically all the same size. Some are uh, uh, copper treated, some are zinc treated, um, tubes, whatever. They're, they're basically all the same. The, the pellets are the ones that you have to worry about. Now, the little pellets that I was showing you, most of those are either a full skirt or a short skirt. Um, the uh, extended or the long skirt pellets, I, I don't have any of them out right here right now. I would show those to you. We'll do that in an upcoming video because we'll probably have 35 different kinds of pellets out here scattered all over the table but I just wanted to drop this on you real quick just so 
nobody makes the same mistake that that guy was about to make and take home some 22 caliber pellets that nobody could shoot because a little kid showed me which air rifle he had I mean it was it was they had one on the shelf so uh, make sure you read the directions look at what you're doing pay attention It'll be a whole lot more fun the next time my name is Charles and this has been backyard blinking